right, hey everyone, welcome to stream. Say hi to stream. Hey. Hola. Hi, hi stream. Um, stream can also say hi to the dentist slash construction workers in the background. Um, so that's just going to be happening today. <laughs> it's going to be great. I feel like we've really started on a quite literal high note. Um, cool. So we're going to play. <laughs> We're gonna play TV to start. Uh, we might play some other base groups depending on how this one goes, but I'm gonna go set that up um, with the lovely um, construction workers that, you know, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be a great time. Chat has to deal with them. You guys don't. Uh, yeah, I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> All right. Hey, chat, let's, uh, let's set up a game. Um, yeah, I don't know what's happening outside of my house, but we're just, we're making it work. It's gonna be great. Um, right, so let's see what we have here i had some new players come to my local games the other day and it was really actually really nice and really refreshing to just be able to go and play trouble brewing my group has gotten to the point where most of the folks who show up now have enough experience that we pretty regularly play all sorts of different things and it's been a little while since we played tb and we played tb and it was just fantastic it was one new player everyone else had played a fair bit before and it was just really really good fun so i think it'll be fun to just throw it back to tb today and yeah let's uh let's see how how we go um i don't know if anyone in chat has any suggestions or preferences for what um what minion we put in i'm probably leaning away from a baron just for this first one although barons are very fun uh and i did joke with with richie beforehand that i would put in a saint but I'm kind of tempted to actually put in a saint because I feel like they could go either way with me putting it in as a real character or as a bluff. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll see what we do there. I think I also want a mayor. And I'm leaning maybe towards having one of those kind of lower info games. Yeah, I don't know. I think I maybe don't want an investigator because in a one outsider game, if they see that it's not a baron, then unless they're exactly poisoned or drunk, like that they know either the outsider's real or there's a drunk, so yeah. I think that's a really good call. Yeah, put in the poisoner so that they have some way to combat the mayor. Um, I always think a poisoned mayor or the potential of a poisoned mayor on the final day is really, really interesting. Um, and let's see what else. It might be fun to put in a virgin, actually, at a small player count. I kind of really like a virgin. Um, just because they don't always get one and you know with a poisoner odds are decent that that virgin could be poisoned um and then let's see i think i don't want a slayer because of that saint claim and i want that to just be able to like live and be ambiguous um i think maybe a fortune teller that feels usually pretty balanced at eight and then we could go for a monk and then give soldiers a bluff. I think I like the balance of that. Um, and let's, let's see. Let's put on a washerwoman and that washerwoman can confirm probably the fortune teller. I think, yeah, I think I'm happy with this. And then for bluffs, let's put in, in M oh, did it not save the characters? I never know how this works, okay. Cool, we are learning about the app right now. Cool, okay, it did save my characters. I just have to send them first and then it'll tell me. I do think for bluffs we're gonna go empath, soldier, and maybe investigator because I think investigator at this count is really interesting in a small game because you can really make it seem like whatever minion uh, and without an undertaker, good won't be able to confirm what that is. But if they hit say a monk and then kill the protection, I think we've got some options. All right, so yeah, let's let's send these out. Let's get some bluffs in there. Oh, you're kidding me. This is the best news. I've not guarded it and Richie is really the saint. Everyone is going to go crazy. Cool. Uh, let's, um, I'm gonna have to try to keep a straight face when I send these characters out because I'm gonna be just laughing too much about the fact that Richie is actually the saint. Um, I think this is really fun. Oh, this will be. This is this is quite a good a good mix of characters. And Lorinda is a townsfolk, and we'll get to stay a townsfolk. So that's also quite exciting. All right, let's uh, let's go let our players know that we're gonna send them tonight. Sure, Michaels versus Undertaker. Hello, you should all have characters. There is no gardener, so I didn't have to extra send them out. Um, and there's no dentist in the background. So let's uh, yeah, let's all go to sleep. Good night, everyone. 
awesome. This is, yeah, genuinely so funny. Yeah, Ellen, I was like, no one will believe Richie. That's the best part. This is, um, this is pretty ideal. <laughs> and Richie, of course, just says, no way. Let's actually talk to him and just see how he's feeling about this. I don't actually know if he'll pick up because technically we don't really. Hello? Uh... Was that random? That was random. <laughs> Amazing. Um, okay, I am the Baron. <laughs> I can't wait. What is that? Uh, do you have any plans or hopes or dreams for this game? Um, I'm going to gently antagonize Aerith and say, look, Aerith, I'm either the demon or the saint. You can't kill me. Um, I hope that you're the act. Like, I don't know. I'm just going to go and... and antagonize one or two people who I think I can uh, G up and get them to be like on my side but not on my side if that makes sense sounds excellent I like it I, I believe in you I hope you have a ton of fun nice oh I'm awesome. also going to play I'm also going to try and confirm most of these conversations as well okay I'm the washroom absolutely yeah that sounds reasonable cool cheers Bye. <laughs> oh, this is this is too funny. All right, so let's see what we have here. We have... I'll hold off on doing any of our pings or red herrings or things just because we have a poisoner and so we can talk to our evil team first. Someone famous for... <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I was like, I mean, but it's Richie. And, you know, I think that's one of the beautiful things genuinely about Clock Tower as a game is that, like, you can truly just do what you want. Yeah, you get, you you know, you're famous, notorious for claiming saint, and then you actually get the saint. What are you going to do? Should I be less sus? No, absolutely not. Just just full send. Just have fun with it. It's going to be a good a good time. And, yes, I agree. I think Aerith will also know that Richie is not the demon. <laughs> but I'm going to be absolutely delighted to see the way that those interactions go between Alex and Aerith between Richie and Arif in particular just to see how Arif reacts to Richie like basically claiming demon oh yeah I don't don't worry I think we all including Richie took that as praise <laughs> all right let's go tell Alex who his demon is and find out who he wants to poison hello hello <laughs> all right you um how do you feel about being the poisoner I I do enjoy I do enjoy having my own business in town. I get to keep my own hours. I get to enjoy stock control. And I always enjoy what the suppliers are going to try and bribe me with this week. So no, I, I like, I, I'm happy with this underground. Um, we'll call it a sweet shop. Certainly, certainly a kind of sweets. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yes, exactly. They are treats, uh, just not for most of town. <laughs> yeah, but that's fine. Um, just, you know, the kind of treats that you like, and that's what's important here. Yeah, um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, speaking of, I will first tell you who your demon is, just, you know, because that might mm -hmm. be relevant to who you decide to um, like deliver your treats to today. Yeah, uh, yeah so <laughs> uh, Arif is the demon. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Yeah. And who would you like to poison? Ooh... Mm. It's narrowed down to one of my two neighbours. Um, I'm probably going to go because uh, Daniel is the shared bundle of joy between myself and Boss. I think only it's right that we send Daniel my first treat of the game. You got it. Treats for Daniel. Oh, fantastic. Thank Brilliant. you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, that's fantastic. I hadn't really thought about the fact that because Daniel's sitting in that sort of like, if it were an empath, like that would be quite bad. Uh, Virgin's such a good poison for the first day. That's so fun. Um, yeah. And I think that'll be really, really good to see, um, to see how that plays out. Like, for example, if Will nominates Daniel, I think that might actually throw a lot of suspicion on Rob, who Will is going to actually be confirming as the fortune teller. Um, I think for that wrong townsfolk, I might actually give Lorinda, just because I think there will be some balance between kind of what's going on there. Um, and then I think maybe as the red herring will go, oh, this is quite tricky. I mean, obviously it's going to be one of Richie or Brockwell. I think they're both. Like, this game is definitely just going to end up in a final three with Aerith, Richie, and Brockwell, isn't it? Um, 
But yeah, let's let's put it on Brockwell because I think it'll be more balanced for Richie to be claiming Say and then not pinged as the demon because I think people will be more likely to assume that Richie is lying but not necessarily the demon. Uh, whereas if we put that red herring on him, people might just kind of take him out. I'm not sure how this group social reads Richie, but I want him to kind of have the freedom to just like play Saint however he wants. Um, but yeah, who knows? It's entirely possible that the fortune teller dies immediately and doesn't really get very much. Let's talk to Arif. <laughs> as soon as he's done talking to the rest of the group. Hello. Hello, hello. hello. <laughs> How's it I'm going? The... You're the end. Yeah, good. Good. I'm excited. Uh, <laughs> I'm That's excited. When, I, when I'm like running a game in person and I'm being really lazy and like not carrying the grim, sometimes if I have to wake up the Scarlet Woman because they've become the imp, I'll just like tap them and be like, you. <laughs> <laughs> you are this They one. always get it, got so. It. You're the <laughs> alien. Woo. All right. Yeah. <laughs> what you got uh, for me, Jams? What you got for me? Uh, I got a lovely, lovely buddy in the form of Alex. Wonderful. Wonderful, yes. wonderful, wonderful. Alex is your minion. Hopping, um, hopping down spy for now. Excellent. Um, yeah, you know, um, perhaps that's, maybe that's how that works. If you just sort of like put in the token and you wish hard enough, like they will just become that role. <laughs> Yeah. Come on, spy. spy or Scarlet Woman. I'll take either. But come Fair on, enough. Spy. All right. Uh, so you also have some bluffs. Your bluffs okay. are Soldier, Ooh. Empath, okay. I like that one, and Investigator. Okay. Oh, I oh I can do some fun stuff with these. All right. I love that. I love that. I have no plan. I'll be honest, Jams. I have no plan. <laughs> I might Excellent. even go off bluff script. Let's see. Let's see. I might go off. I might pick a different role because there's only what five townsfolk in play, right? I think. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There's a whole host of ones oh, that yeah. are out of play. You got lots of options here. Who needs if, a plan okay, with so I'm, many I'm, options? I'm, you and chat already know that there may or may not be a mayor in the game. I might, I might go down the mayor route. Let's see. <laughs> Let's All right. see. Who knows? It's gonna be great. It's I think you have a ton of options. You're gonna have fun no matter what. And yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. Should be good. And we'll get to game two quicker than we ever thought. Thanks. Awesome. <laughs> Cheers. See you. Oh yeah, this should be a lot of fun. Um, I do think. Um, considering an outsider bluff i did i did consider one i didn't talk about it i probably should have um so outsider bluffs are really really good to use in general when um in kind of the storyteller training resources we've been putting together one of the things we talk about is that you should always consider putting in an outsider bluff and there are some reasons why to or why not to in this case it is a one minion game so it would have to specifically be a baron game for there to be two outsider claims which is totally possible i don't actually think it's a bad thing um and i think especially with richie specifically came, claiming saint if say Arif or alex were to claim i don't know butler like people would probably believe that one of Arif or Alex was the butler over believing that Richie is the saint and that would make them look like the real outsider. It would also mean that other people in town probably think they're not drunk um, and leaving up that space for people to potentially be drunk is probably something that I want more than don't want in this game. Um, and I so I think I could have gone either way. I do think giving an outsider bluff could have been really useful with the fortune teller in the game. Giving recluse as a bluff could have been really good as well. Um, but yeah, I think in this particular situation, knowing that there's a monk, I think I like... Oh my goodness, my internet is going crazy. Um, thanks, Neon Cat. Um, yeah, so I think... I think I want to not... Oh my goodness, what is happening right now? Okay, yeah. Staying away from the Outsider Bluff for today because I like the balance of Soldier with monk and other things that interact with death i like empath just because there's not a lot of information in this town and being able to present more information to muddy the well is useful um and then investigator i think is always just really fun in a small game to be able to actually give information that sends people in the wrong direction uh which is something that evil very much i think needs an option to do so yeah Let's, um, oh my goodness, imagine if all three of them were claiming mayor in final three. That would certainly be an adventure. Uh, 
<laughs> All right. So let's um, let's see. We've got a washerwoman to tell about a fortune teller. We've got a fortune teller who's got a pick, and that's actually all that we've got for this first night here. So let's go talk to Will. Hello. Hey. Um, I am going to let you know that there is a fortune teller in this town. Very nice. And yeah, right? Uh, pretty handy, you know. Uh, that fortune teller is either Rob or Lorinda. Rob or Lorinda. Excellent. Thank you so much. Yeah, no worries. Bye. See ya. All right. That'll be good. I almost wonder if because Lorinda's evil so often, if they're like, well, it's on Lorinda, so they're definitely not the fortune teller. Or like it's on them, so they definitely are. Like, who knows? It'll be a good, uh, it'll be a good time. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't imagine being in a final three where all of the players claim to be the philosopher holding. <laughs> Wait, but most important question, who was actually holding the little monster? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Were they evil or good? <laughs> all right, let's um let's find out who Rob's going to pick. I almost wonder i don't actually remember if rob is the kind of player who likes to always pick his neighbors when i was writing for my local group on monday i the guy who picked for who got fortune teller is the sort of person who just always always picks his neighbors and so i intentionally put the red herring on the investigator who was one of his neighbors and he ended up getting yeses every single night of the game but that was that was a different story but yeah i think only two only Two of them were poisoned, but one of them he picked the dead demon who had just start passed, so it was literally four legit... Yeah, yeah. Anyways, let's find out who Rob's gonna pick, and hopefully he has a game where he might get at least one no. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Whose fortunes are you telling tonight? Can I have a look at uh, Alex and Brockwell, please? Alex and Brockwell? You get a yes. Thank you. Indeed. Cheers. All right. So that is a, I think that's a good yes for the evil. For Actually, I think that's a pretty balanced yes because it's a yes on the mayor, but it's also a yes on the poisoner who isn't the demon, but is someone that the good team wants to kill. So not mad about that. Um, oh no, one of the good people is holding the little monster. I will say it is very fun to be a good person holding the little monster, unless it's like a heretic game and you're dead. But, you know, besides that, um, yeah, let's, um, yeah, oh, that's fun that in beginner game, I just saw this message, um, that in, in your beginner games, the beginner imps love the outsider bluffs. I think outsider bluffs are great. I think... It tends to be a balance, especially if you have groups that pay really close attention to the player count. Like, I've seen some groups who are like, oh, this person is claiming outsider, and there has to be an outsider, and, like, we know that there's no drunk or something. Like, it's it's it can be tough in groups like that if you're a new player who, like, isn't as familiar with what it means. Like, if it's a base two outsider claim and you're the only outsider claim, like, you have to be good, stuff like that. But I do think there's lots of different options um and outsider bluffs are so fun i love when people take outsider bluffs they're the best um yeah we can we can talk later about um some of the things that stephen medway has said about the butler being the best character in the game um indisputably but it's i think for him it's between butler and drunk but you can't bluff drunk so clearly that's the difference um it's been a while let's uh let's wake him up let's play a game Ooh. That's actually mm. good mm. morning oh, everybody like that. Um, I have been murdered by the chainsaw in my backyard. Oh no! Can you, uh, if you could figure out who's operating it, um, yeah, that'd be easy. Dentist. Easy. Yeah. It's the dentist. It's the local dentist. Yeah, they're very dangerous. Don't, don't get your teeth checked, kids. <laughs> oh dear! Oh dear! And no, I guess I it will be. No, I guess it will be karma <laughs> if you're evil. I'm, I'm not. I am definitely good this game. So am I. So, but, uh, but my empath one is probably on Daniel. Then is that what you're saying? So you're an empath of the one. You're saying? I'm saying I'm an empath of the one. I'm a fortune teller with a yes on Alex and Brockwell. Oh, let's kill them both, and then let's kill Daniel. The evil team is there. Surely, <laughs> this is ridiculous. We've won the game, Rob. If we're, both good, then, if we're both good and healthy and sober, then 
we might have game solving information. We can kill in order, Rob. In order. Now, this is prov on the prov provision that you're good, actually. I've just realized yeah. if you're not good, then you're my empath. Rob. And, and yeah. therefore, the information that you're implying probably points away from Rockwell and, and, and Alex, he said. But still, nevertheless, nevertheless, let's kill in order. Daniel, Alex, Rockwell, and we win the game. Yeah. Do you want to arbitrary roll swap? It doesn't. I don't think it's beneficial to either of us. <laughs> I'm not saying it would make much much of a difference, but I don't think I, it would. It's like the only thing you could do is like try and obscure where like the empath sitting for if they they're worried about. Um, Possibly. Um, I because think... I would probably say an empath with a zero if I was claiming empath, but I think I would only do this if you're probably a higher priority target, right? As well, yeah. so I don't mind claiming it in the event that I get targeted before you do. Yeah, yeah cool. All right, let's do it. Yeah, I'll, I'll say empath zero, uh, zero, and you can just claim my information. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. I, yeah. Okay. Uh, you're like, not having me on, Rob, right? No, this I'm would not. be I'm it was not. this would be a pretty pretty smart way of doing it, <laughs> like making me swap out of my role with your demon blood. <laughs> that's what it feels well, like. If I'm the demon and you got empath one on me, that's something that will definitely come up in the end of the game. So don't worry. I've got I've got to trust you at some point, right? It's, you can't you can't trick me four games in a row, right? right? <laughs> yes, that's right, chat. Four games in a row. <laughs> It'll, it, it's gonna work one time. Yes. Yeah, I'll trust you at some point. All right. And then Thank all you. the other times it doesn't work in the future, I'll refer back to this one time where you as either the fortune teller or Ravenkeeper. I believe you. Okay. Do you want to confirm which one? Um, I'm telling people I'm the saint, so no, not for now. Okay. But we can get some confirmation. You give me one night. You know what? You know what? It's fine. I'm just going to claim Saint until you tell me the truth. Uh, because that, that sounds great. We'll both live, and I'll tell you the truth tomorrow. All right, cool. Okay, Let's cheers. Lucky down spy. Oh gosh, this is excellent. Do you want to do that? Okay. Um, I'd rather keep it mysterious to an extent, so rather not hard claim. Okay, sure. Yeah, I'll follow you then. Cool. I'm either the empath or the raven keeper. Okay. Interesting. Um, I'm either the washerwoman or the undertaker. Cool. Um, with with the fact you said you may have information already, hmm. is it safe to assume you're one of the two and probably the former than rather than the latter? Uh, I may have heard information from my first chat that I was going to tell you that might also be it. Alright, cool. Um, yeah, uh, it sounds good to me. Yeah. And I've given you Empath Raven Keeper, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to assume that if you're the Empath you didn't get a zero because you're being very cagey with me, so... Um, um, I mean, I might not be the Empath. I may not be the Raven Keeper. I might just be yeah, the Mayor. I could be the Baron. Uh, yeah, I've heard of one of them already, so I don't think you're that. Yeah, I've heard two. Uh, yeah, definitely not. Uh, definitely not me. So I'm, I guess more on fire than your hair is on fire. You are more fiery than me, I think. Yeah. Yeah. But your hair, your your hair is fierier and longer than mine. So I'm slowly. <laughs> it's it's I'm longer. Slowly, I'm that. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to slowly grow into a little mini Lorinda, uh, Marinda. Do Trust me. Anyway, talk about the game as a chatter here. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, the game. We're playing a game, are we? Oh, yeah, we're playing a game. <laughs> what what sure. would you like to do? Um. I've got two. I, I, I'm happy to hard, or I'm happy to do two or three. What What are you fancying? Um, I'll tell you my claim, and then you might not want to claim one back. So I'm the same. I... So give me what you want. Oh, I've, I you, you I've seen. I was told you were a mayor. You've seen. I was told that one of two players was a mayor. Okay. And you're one of my two names. I'm definitely not the mayor. That's cool. Uh, that's fine. I mean, um, Saint's a really good place for me to go find out about. So that's all that works for me. Um, the this must mean that my other 
Uh, I'll, I'll be honest, it robs my other ping, so I'm going to go and try and talk to them. It's, washerwoman's really difficult, because you probably just think it I'm is. a spy. But I'm a crap spy. Especially since it's wrong. a double claim right now. Is washerwoman a double claim? Yeah. With somebody oh, who what? did tell me my role correctly. Oh, uh, wow. Which is good, because, <laughs> you know... Uh, it's good Shall because I be on you're a spy. You, yeah, please be honest. Are you the spy? No, I'm an outsider. I'm a butler. You're the butler? Okay. Um, so there's a baron in play. I think so, yeah. Okay, well, awesome. Thank you. Uh, Daniel is my master. I haven't told uh, Daniel that yet because we had a good chat and he was being very, very entertaining about, well, I'm a top four. So. And I'm wearing a blue top because I'm definitely, definitely good. Uh, that's just scientifically how that works. Yeah, yeah. Blue hat. Yeah. Blue top. Yeah. I'm, I'm wearing good. yellow headphones because I'm neutral as the storyteller. Hey. Uh, I've got all black on. Oh, I've got red pants on. Where hey. is it? <laughs> 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 um, no, I'm red top pants. Off. You are top four. Okay. Yeah. Um, I am either the empath or the raven keeper. Oh, you were the one that... Okay. Fine. <laughs> As I've said before, I'm definitely not the empath. Baron. I might be the Mayor, I might be the Saint, I might be not the Baron. Cool. Everything is uh, A-OK, -okay, Daniel. Everything is fine. Okay. If I'm the Chef, i got a zero. Cool. If I'm Sounds not the Chef, I saw Arith and Richie. Nice. Thank you very much. And we'll, we'll see what I'm going to take has got to say today. Thank you. Yeah, sounds good. Cheers. I think it's been long enough that we can get everyone back, which is, ah, oh, that's that's tempting because I do kind of want to pop into Alex and Richie, but just for a moment because it's been a long day. Ooh. That mm -hmm. either has wings or gives people wings. Really? Um, yeah. Let me just find the red bull. I, I don't have a red bull token to put down for you. Well, what gives people wings? In a, more um, sense. in a more classical sense, so if I needed Murdering. to buy, if I needed to buy a bird, that that could be a winged option, couldn't it? It could be. Unfortunately, there's no like kind of pet shop bonus on the script. No, we just he rolls that that kill people. Right. So you're a winged killer. Is I'm, that? I'm just think that gives people wings. Yes. You're son, you're, you... So you're hard climbing Red Bull. Got it. I think Red Bull's my safest one here. Um, so you like to kill, and you give people wings. I don't like to kill. I'm just saying it's you know, people that kill do give people wings, and you know I'm all about wings. So are you a speedy undertaker? Is that what? And yeah. yeah. Mm. Definitely was relaxing. Yeah. Wasn't it, Arif? Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, welcome, welcome back, everyone. Um, you, um, some of you might be potentially starting to realize that you have a slight toothache, but you're not worried about it. You, um, you're just no matter what, you're not going to go see the dentist. That's clearly what's up. Uh, Yes, there will be no orthodontry in this town, or ever, because that's not a character. Um, yeah, you can <laughs> you can talk and, you know, eventually nominate. Hi, Richie. Um, I've just had uh, some food turn up. Do you if I go get it? It's actually before my main meal. It's a uh, parity. Be our guest. Are you a cannibal? I... I can't tell if this is real or, or like a, a bit. I, I feel like it's a joke. <laughs> it's a tooth related joke. Is it? Uh... No, 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 Can it's I not. I Slayer actually ordered. Uh, yeah, Arif, Arif claims Slayer and shoots Richie with uh, what's your weapon of choice? Um, oh, I should be more prepared for this. Anesthetic. Okay. Arif decides uh, that it's time for Richie to go to the dentist. So uh, he orders Richie a pizza, um, and the pizza has a rock in it. 
So Richie oh, no. kind of is chewing on the pizza, realizes like, oh no, something's wrong oh. with my tooth. So he goes to the dentist and then Arif is there um, because Arif works there now. And Arif takes, uh, t- goes in, he's like, I'm gonna administer you some anesthetic. Um, and he's just about to plunge the, um, the needle. I don't actually know how anesthetic works. Um, <laughs> and we, where's Amy Rose when we need her? She's actually a nurse. Um, anyways, uh, you, uh, you also don't know how anesthetic works, so nothing happens. Ah, fine, fine. I think that she's a demon because nobody ever tells the tooth on day one. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> That's how it's done, Alice, mate. That's pretty good. <laughs> Uh, was that oh, was that a time was that a timing joke? Was it two thirty? Exactly. <laughs> or is, is it two thirty? It is about where we should sat at. Oh, the tooth hurts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Over bite, you've really got to watch. Oof! Ouch! <laughs> Nominations. Uh, Rich nominates Linda. All right, Richie nominates Lorinda. Go on. Uh, for that joke, we need to keep this person alive. Uh, this is purely to get them off the pot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is despite everything, I'm the saint, so we shouldn't kill them. All right. Takes four votes, starting now. Ooh. One is not enough, and Lorinda is safe. A rare Richie non drop. Yeah. Interesting. Um, Arif will nominate Brockwell. Alright. <laughs> Hi, Brockwell. Um, there is uh, potential fortune teller information on Brockwell, um, and that puts. Should that information is a yes. Brockwell. Yeah, I am the probably the most perfect red herring. For well, uh, uh, what was the term I was going to use? Basically, my character is perfect for a red herring, so I wouldn't read too much into that. Um, I'm good. I have told everyone the truth in some way today. Perfect, like a demon. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, Brockwell claims to have told the, the tooth, sorry, the truth, uh, and it takes four votes to put Brockwell on the block. No. <laughs> Starting now. <laughs> Couldn't resist. When you're murdered by a dentist, it's really just the only, <laughs> the only choice. Well, three votes is not enough, and Brockwell is safe. Uh, I'll nominate Daniel, please. All right, Rockwell nominates Daniel. Um, I had a good chat with Daniel. I think Daniel's probably on the level. Um, I just think Daniel had mentioned something in our conversation that Daniel wouldn't mind this going through for potentially. Daniel. Uh, yes, I'm on the level. I lied to you. I'm the virgin. No. <laughs> All right. It takes nice. four votes. Starting now. I feel like Daniel might have been the Baron, actually. Three is once again. <laughs> not the clue of my hand was not to my alignment. <laughs> <laughs> Last call for nominations. Well, I nominate Alex. All right. Um, I think this is the other side of the fortune teller, yes. Um, don't know if we've got an undertaker, but maybe we should execute. I don't know. Alex? Um, rather not, but I'm not the demon, I can tell you that much. All right. Well, it takes four votes once again, starting now. I think we should put Alfred on the block. (laughs) 
Five is a plenty, and Alex is on the block. I don't think that's going to be beat, so I'll leave like got, five seconds. Just you got you got my name wrong. It's Alfred. Ah, sorry. Yes. Um, I I, I looked in, in my books and it, it, I I saw appointment for Alex and I just I got confused. But yes, my apologies. Happens, the receptionist must have messed it up. Yeah, I mean, I, I often get told off by the master, so I get these things wrong all the time. So Batman do, hates going to the wrong dentist. Do you believe in this potential barren world? Because either I've myself or saints. Daniel could be the drunk. Yeah, yeah. I do believe in a. Uh, I do believe in this barren world. All right. Well, I believe that Alfred. Sorry, Alex has been executed and dies. And the game continues. Good night. Oh, that is quite the day for both teams, honestly. I think it's really interesting because if Alex successfully paints a barren world, then that just puts a drunk between Daniel and Brockwell, which would mean that one of them has to be good. But if Alex... I mean, I think it kind of goes both ways because they could also just decide, well, there's an evil between Daniel and Brockwell. Alex is the good one and Richie's the other evil, but that does limit the evil team's team that they're pushing um so i think it kind of it could go either way um but yeah let's um oh interesting i've just seen that Arif's done a little message to rob saying that he's lied to him and i'm not totally sure what that's about so i'm curious to see kind of what he's pushing there i'll give him a second because it looks like he's typing um oh my god he is going there <laughs> i love this this is just going to be chaos um yeah the text chats are in the bottom left i think arif's just um it my computer's been a little bit weird and laggy today and it he, he said to rob i lied to you and then it disappeared but now i think we've got yeah um this is <laughs> this is going to be incredible um yeah i'm super super curious to know who arif will kill here and now we get to well let's find out who lorinda picks first it doesn't actually matter what order I get this information in. What does matter is that Lorinda's protection works before Arif gets a chance to kill. Um, so yeah, let's find out who's getting protected. Hey. Hello. Who would you like uh, to protect? Pretty sure he's in a roll swap. I'm going to hope that the demon thinks he's in a roll swap as well, so I'll go for Arif, please. You got it. Cheers. Hey, thank you. Well, that is very handy for the evil team. Well done to Arif for getting himself protected. Uh, let's find out who he kills now. Oh, this is disastrous. <laughs> I, I had I, to vote then because I was like, everyone's going to vote on this. It's <laughs> I fine. To blend I, think, in. I think everything's okay. fine. Yeah. And yeah. it's going to be great once I kill... Oh, do I want to kill Rob or do I want to kill Brockwell? I want to frame Rob, but Rob's going to get fortune teller information on me and he's going to push on that. And it's early enough in the game. That's what I'm feeling. I just feel like Rob's going to check me tonight. And it's early enough in the game where that's going to be fine. Um, I've also set the set, sowed the seeds of Rob, I lied. I'm the mayor. Let's see how <laughs> it could just be a short game because of that. Let's kill Brockwell. And if it bounces, I'm screwed. <laughs> because Brockwell could be the mayor. Or is Brockwell not the mayor? I don't know. I'll find out in the morning, I'm sure. I just, I overthink these things, Jam, so I shouldn't. I'll kill... Oh, yeah, I'll kill Brockwell, please, because then okay. Rob can be the friend. Cool. You got it. Yeah, cheers. All right. So that's interesting. Um, yes, I actually think it's much better for that to bounce um, for lots of reasons. I think... I'm, I'm torn because I think we probably want that to bounce to Will. I think that's sort of the most neutral kill. It's not going to bounce to Rob because I think Rob needs to live and get whatever information. He's also, he's got a yes on Alex and Brockwell. If they think it's a Baron, then Alex can't be the demon, which means that Brockwell is still a living yes. So Rob getting a yes tonight, I don't actually think is as big of an issue as Eris worried that it might be because it's going to be one yes of many yeses. I think Rob getting a no potentially is a bigger issue for the evil team because it's two people that shouldn't be the demon, but we'll see. Um, 
I think Arif, my hunch is that Arif wanted to kill Brockwell not because Brockwell looks evil, but because one, he's checking whether or not Brockwell is the mayor to know whether or not he's actually gotten himself in a double claim. And then I think that's information for him on how he wants to play it moving forward. And two, because Brockwell has a fortune teller, yes, they killed the other person in the yes. And Arif knows that because Arif got that information from Rob. Brockwell then nominated Daniel, who is claiming virgin and will continue to claim virgin. And so if Brockwell does die here, I think Arif is hoping that it might look like a star pass as well. It might look like the demon used their ability to kill themselves and go to the minion, um, which also paints worlds where Alex would have to be good because Alex can't be the minion that that star pass went to. So lots of different options. I do think here probably the correct play. Oh, I'm torn. I'm tempted actually to kill Lorinda instead of Will, just because I think, um, well, let's see. Lorinda's protecting Arif. I think if Lorinda pr continues to... Mm, I just don't think Lorinda's going to continue to protect Arif, and I think that might be a big issue for the evil team, where, like, all of a sudden Rob is going to become unkillable. Um, whereas I don't... N I don't know if they're going to kill into that mayor double claim or not. We'll have six alive tomorrow. And... Yeah, eh, mayor's a town sick ability. I'll kill the washerwoman. All right, let's find out who Rob's picking. I do too, but they won't know who it bounced off. Hello. Oh wow. You're alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. Well, th there aren't many options that the demon to kill, and I thought I was I was a goner for sure. Um, hoping desperately to find a no because actually that's with this number of players it's much harder to find the no than is to hit the demon or red herring so uh richie and will please richie and will well i have bad news for you just kidding you get a no yay all right cool thank you yeah cheers Awesome. Okay, that I actually I feel better as well about the decision to kill Will because that is one less alive. No, um, Richie getting a no on him I think is going to be great fun for Richie. Um, but yeah, let's um, let's see. Yeah, that's a really good point, Sticky Bear. That if they do meta that Will's death is a mayor bounce, then. It cannot technically have been a bounce from Arif, because if Arif had been killed, it wouldn't have bounced. I think there's options. Yeah, exactly. I think Richie is a Scarlet Woman candidate or a, any other minion, but probably not a Baron candidate. I think, I mean, I, I don't think Evil's in a great position, but I also think the good team killed the minion yesterday uh the demon has chosen to be at a double claim which isn't a bad thing i think that's a totally valid play but i think in terms of how the game is being approached yeah i i think killing killing will feels sort of neutral killing lorinda feels evil-sided and when you have to make a decision between something neutral and evil-sided i do think i could go either way like this is a very tough decision it's part of why i'm talking about it for so long um but i think at the end of the day mayor is a townsfolk ability um and i'd rather use it as a bit more of a townsfolk and try and make a neutral decision as opposed to a decision that actively helps the evil team so yeah let's um yeah, I think that's a good point. Like, Arif will, will know that... Well, Arif will know that there is another mayor. Whether or not that means that Arif decides to continue claiming mayor is a very different story, which I think is quite fun. Um, but yeah, let's um, let's go back and, and wake everyone up and announce the death of Will. Good morning. Um, during the night, there... Um, there was a surprise dentist visit. Someone had some some uh, midnight <laughs> midnight orthodontry, uh, and it turns out midnight in the house of the dentist is not a good time. Um, and we have lost our good friend Will. Hmm. Uh, 
Uh, well, let's have a chat about your uh, early demise. Sure. Yo. As much as I want to antagonize you and say, yes, I killed you, <laughs> I'm saying this. What are you? I'm the Wishwoman. I think and... um, I think the demon might have thought I was the fortune teller nominating the other side of the ping, maybe. Which makes um... me feel like the fortune teller is probably sober and maybe like got hit the red herring and they don't want to get hit next. I don't know. I nominated Alex. I, no I nominated Alex. Okay. Interesting. Uh, so Arif this Rob's uh, 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 Rob's allegedly at Empath Zero. And Arif and Rob right. send a little messages back and forth. Okay. Well, so I mean. Mildly suspicious of Yeah. I know. I spoke to. So I spoke to one of them and they've like. Like, they chatted a lot day one, and I think I know why. I don't think it's suspicious at the moment, but okay. it could be. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you're one of those. So I put you down as in, in my don't world. Worry. In mm. my world, I am I could be the drunk, but with. Oh, yeah, you did. What happened with a virgin? The, yes. Oh, that's, that's the thing. But I don't think Daniel is the virgin. Um, Daniel Hardclaim, chef with a zero. And I guess in an attempt to get someone to nominate the virgin, but. I just feel with that outing, I think I think Daniel was probably the Baron. Even I think you said that he might just be the Baron. Yeah, it's a little bit strange. Fuck off. Not gonna lie. I'm wearing blue, Arif. I'm definitely not evil. <laughs> that doesn't that doesn't change anything. It's a sign. <laughs> this discussion earlier with Jams. It's, it's fine. It is it's definitely scientific fact. I was wearing I was wearing a red Along hoodie all day. I've not pulled a red toe, so I don't know what to tell you. Um. Anything about yourself, Arif, actually? Oh, and you've... Oh, it's a tortoise? Turtle? It's a Turtle or tortoise? Oh, it's a... of course it is! <laughs> <laughs> of course it's a little monster. So, you know, if you ever need to be the demon, okay, we'll done. Fair. That's cool. Fair, fair, fair. Uh, uh, anything about yourself, Arif? I will tell you I'm either the empath, I'll also give you mayor, because why not? And I'll also give cool. you a saint because I've heard two other people claim Saint, and I think it's a fun thing to do. Cool, I've heard someone else claim Baron. <laughs> nice. Is that Daniel? Because <laughs> it's either you or no, Daniel. No, then you could just not. be the imp. Imagine if you're on the same team, and that's just like, you play, that would be amazing. The fortune teller. Mm. I, I am pretty confident in that. Yeah, I only have two blanks on my grid. One was you and one was Rob. And neither of you have claimed fortune. I don't actually know who it is either. I was past the information. I was these parts from Teller yesterday. Well, I was past the information from someone else, uh, but they're not yeah. claiming fortune teller as far as I'm aware. Um, so unless they, you know, they've swapped the info from somewhere or something. Um, yeah. I should. We should find out who it is. Um, mm. are, you, are you actually the virgin? Yes. Well, I might be the drunk, but I can see the virgin token. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. So I, th I think I know what Brock was claiming. So. Yeah. Saying if there's well, a saint I've, or not in there. I've got ongoing information. Um, so, empath okay. fortune teller. So. Okay. I thought you might be in a role swap with Arif, so... Uh, okay. We may or may not be. Um, okay, cool. It, it, attempt, attempt, it's, it, it's, I think, to determine which is the... Who's who is a bit... Is, is more... Uh, less important. But, okay, I'll go and have a chat with Richard and see if we can sort out this double claim. Because I don't really think I'm a spy. And we, are... ah, we can't sort out the double claim. That's fine. We'll just leave you to. We'll just leave you to final three. Yeah, <laughs> and then we just kill <laughs> the other one. Like, we, it's fine. Yeah, we probably need no to claim. resolve there that. There are pay limitations of, of the real thing. Welcome back. Oh, we're we talking about the the obvious double claim that's definitely definitely two good players. <laughs> <laughs> that one, yeah. I mean, I believe they're both good. <laughs> Me too. Well, at least one of them is. I, I don't think know at least one. one of them is. I think I have to be a spy, um, according to uh, certain people. 
Maybe. I mean, Spy and Saint sound very similar. Unless Will just star pass to you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Will, I don't know anything about you. <laughs> the, the amount that Will trusts me is so low. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, me, me and Richie, me, no. No, we're not, we're not on the level at the moment. I think Richie's <laughs> okay. I just don't know what Richie's doing. Yeah. I don't necessarily think Richie's evil, I just think Richie's not telling me the truth. I think Richie told me the truth at one point. Yeah. Alright, well, nominations are open. Daniel, are you sticking with the Virgin claim? Yes. Eric will nominate Brockwell. Sorry, bro. it sounds like I'm targeting you now because it's been two days in a row, but um, didn't proc a Virgin in a fortune teller yes although i i think i feel like if you were the demon you probably would have star past there to get out of that knowing this was probably coming but yeah either way i think we probably need to clear it up um i don't know how how many times i'm going to reiterate this i'm wearing a blue hat i'm wearing a blue top so it's scientifically good. proven that i am a good good boy well it takes three votes to put brockwell on the block no. I think the I unfortunate know. thing is that if you survive to final three, it's going to be. Yeah, real I, I do think yeah. this is wrong, but I understand. But I, I do think that um, I was probably killed because I, they thought I was a fortune teller, which probably means that the yes that we got is the red herring or poison somehow and not actually true because you probably wouldn't kill the fortune teller if that was the case. Well, four votes yeah. is enough. Yeah. And apparently yeah. wearing blue is not enough to keep you from being about to die. No, I'm going to have to re-strategize here. Uh, can I nominate Daniel again, please? Put a red yes. flap on. And Put this time, uh, you have once again nominated Daniel. Well, c keeping on the, the theme of coloured uh, clothing, Daniel claimed to be wearing uh, red undergarments, but I also think he might be having or in possession of a secret red hat. Daniel. Uh, I've got a pink cowgirl hat. <laughs> oh, not not a red one, sorry. Well, we'll have to see that next time. Yeah, I was thinking, <laughs> why is that not on stream? Yeah. Four votes. To, we'll have we'll have a hat themed stream maybe next week. Who knows? Why not? I okay, just uh, to get it. Takes four votes. <laughs> I think yes. Just to get it. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to not run the vote while he's gone. Um, it takes four <laughs> votes to tie and five... Yes! There is. <laughs> four Amazing. votes to tie Love. and five votes to put Daniel and his lovely pink hat on block. Starting now. We, yeah, we can't... I, I feel I mean, like we can't kill Daniel now because I don't want to see the hat in black and white. I don't want to see it in all its glory. <laughs> Would a demon wear a hat like this? Y yes, is yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, think that's what the is. I don't know if you're asking the right questions, Daniel, but you are safe. Two votes is not enough, and Brockwell is still about to die with four votes. Surely a demon in the bedroom would wear a hat like that. Wow. Last call coming. for nominations. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not going to wear it in the kitchen, are you? You'd get it wet. Yeah, this is true. I want it in leads. I'd wear that in the kitchen. It's so exciting. Imagine being served dinner by someone wearing that hat. You know that's going to be a weird meal. And is it just the hat, or is there other garments as well, like this apparently red racy undergarments? Again, no comment. Closing the day yeah. in about 10 seconds. I'm a demon in a... I'm in the demon in the bedroom. But I actually can't remember because I'm claiming amnesia, so... Us? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's like, oh, I thought I was a virgin, but nothing happened. Must be an amnesia. Well, <laughs> town. Would you nominate Sarah? Okay. <laughs> They're not panicking. At the last second. Yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah. Arif is good. I, I was actually quite concerned that we were going to do a last minute nom to get Arif on the block because I got ahead of that person. Uh, so it doesn't happen. Just in case, it was it was actually you were in quite a lot of danger there. I, I put you back. <laughs> I appreciate that, Richie. Um, if we don't kill me, we can go for a mayor win. All right, four to tie, five to tie. <laughs> Starting now. What? Rob, I may have lied to you again, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm leaning towards you being good at this moment in time. All right, three votes is not enough. 
So how many? Uh... Closing the day. Brockle, if you're good, we can we can speak tomorrow. <laughs> Three. I'm wearing blue, Arif. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Brockwell is suffocated by a large blue sheet and is executed and dies and is buried in a lovely blue outfit. Didn't make it. Oh, difference. thanks, Gems. That's really yeah. nice. Yeah, I thought so. It goes nicely with um, with your eyes. Uh, but the game continues. Good night. Thanks. Ooh. <laughs> Alright, I think that's, that's quite a good kill for... Um, I mean... I think probably for the evil team it's better just because they don't have to deal with actually trying to kill the mayor. But now comes the very interesting situation where Lorinda could have a huge impact on the game depending on who they protect. So I'm going to be really curious to see um, what happens there. It's not out of the realm of possibility that Lorinda ends up protecting the same person that Arif targets, which would give the evil team, or it would give the good team one more kill for the game so yeah yeah <laughs> i was like i'm about to sing but I, I know that there are dmca rules so i have to like resist the urge just you know yes there's um there's a nice song playing in the background that may or may not be about being a blue person living in a blue house and being so so good um yes the monk save would be devastating and it's cool because i feel like so many times the monk is just sort of like not doing much in tv like when it hits amazing but when it hits and gives the good team an extra execution like absolutely game changing um but yeah let's let's find out let's find out who Lorinda's gonna pick well hey. i have no idea who i would kill um i don't want to protect the demon and i think i'm going to let's go for rob g please rob g you got it yep cheers cheers Ooh, the stage is set. That is entirely possible, uh, if I can get my <laughs> mouse on it, that Arif is going to try and take out Rob tonight and not succeed in doing so. Um, I don't know. I could see them killing Arif tomorrow if there's five alive, but I could also see them leaving Arif. But I really think it will de depend on what information Rob gets. Because what's interesting now is that he's got essentially three people alive that he's not checked in Arif, Daniel, and Lorinda. I think he's probably going to check two of them. It's always funny that I sit here and like speculate about this and I could just ask, but I like, I like trying to get in my players' heads and try and understand. I do think that if Rob picks two of them and he doesn't pick Arif, the evil team is kind of screwed. Uh, because that means Arif is uniquely a yes, unless Rob's poisoned. But if Rob's poisoned, then one, then basically Richie's the poisoner. So, yeah, it'll be interesting. Um, let's find out who Arif is going to kill, first of all. Hey. Brockwell was the mayor. <laughs> this is now to I have to back out of my mayor claim. <laughs> I see no problems. Oh. So jams in in the in the world of I'm doing all the worst things possible and I might 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 still win the game. Um, I'm also now considering sinking a kill and just and just pivoting to soldier. <laughs> it's a terrible plan because we're, we'll be four alive if I kill. But I feel like it, oh, because I feel like Rob's gonna get a yes on me tonight. So I feel like I need to either I either have to kill Rob, the person I'm trying to frame. Okay, no, I'm, I'm gonna have to kill Rob. Rob is, Rob is, I think, washerwoman confirmed, so I've got to kill Rob. Okay. Oh, but I really want to sink a kill. I'm gonna kill Rob. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do it. Have you got it. it. Cheers. Thanks. Oh my goodness, the surprise that Aerith will be in for when he has sunk a kill can pivot to soldier, but he's not gonna expect to do that pivot, pivot until he wakes up and no one is dead. I love that, like, we knew this was coming, and now we're here, and it's just as delightful as when I was, you know, speculating about it. Anyways, um, that's incredibly funny. I also wonder if at this player count, depending on whether or not they believe in the Baron world, if there's a world, potentially, where Rob can think that he's drunk or poisoned. I don't know. I really don't know how he's going to take his information. But I also think who he picks will be really informative. 
Um, so yeah, yeah, exactly. I think Arif is the sort of player who like socially will have enough like fun with this that it might, it might sort. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that Rob will ever build a world where Rob is specifically the drunk. I do think Rob might build a world where Rob is now poisoned and that's why he's been alive for so long. Um, but we will see. I also think like his information's gonna track, it's gonna be good. Um, so yeah, we'll, um, we'll see how it goes. I, I think Evil's best odds here is probably if Rob picks Aerith with one of Lorinda and Daniel, because then it's two possible yeses and they might not kill Aerith. But yeah, we'll find out. Hello. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Um... Trust with Arif is at all time low, but I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to the terms of where I think we are. I would it be great to clear Arif because uh, let's go. Well, this you know, Daniel and Arif. Daniel and Arif. Yeah. You get a yes. Okay, there we go. Thank Cheers. you. All right, that is probably the again the most balanced thing that Rob could have done, but I think in any situation, um, you know, really, really good for the good team. Um, they've got that yes on the demon. I will be very intrigued to see how Aerith plays this day. Um, but yeah, we'll um, we'll see how it goes. I think um, it's really exciting for Lorinda to actually have got protection. I think like even regardless of everything else in the game, like it's awesome when the monk actually protects someone and that will have happened. Um, and yes, completely agreed. Daniel could potentially be Brockwell's Scarlet Woman. I believe someone said that earlier when we were listening to chats where somebody was like, well, you could have just kind of set up this thing to make it seem like you're on opposite teams. Um, if Daniel is Brockwell's Scarlet Woman, though, then Richie has to be lying about being the saint, which I do think if, if you could frame anyone who was claiming an outsider as actually just being a different good player, it is Richie. So it's not out of the realm of possibility, but yeah, it'll be um, it'll be really interesting to see how um, how this day turns out. So yeah, let's um, let's go watch uh, watch for Era's face when we say that no one's died in the night. Good morning, town. <sighs> um, so last night, another one of you woke up for a surprise dentist visit. Um, but then the dentist accidentally uh, anesthetized themselves, and uh, no one, no one died. Oh, oh, well, that's mm. excellent what news. Fairy. Ooh. interesting. Soldier bluff confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> Richie, please, no, Richie, please. <laughs> uh, will. Well, I know a little bit about you, but I don't know if it's the truth. <gasps> I, I, okay. What I know um, is that you're an empath with a one. Is that true? I am an empath with a one. I, I have all that information. Are you the washerwoman that's confirming Rob? Yes. Because Rob said, oh, great, I'm washerwoman confirmed. I was like, okay, cool. Did Did Rob claim fortune teller to you, day one? The first chat, yeah. Okay, all right. I didn't speak to him for a few chats. Okay, so... so you and Rob are the same team, probably good, because you died first, so... Yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm pretty sure they thought I was the fortune teller. Okay, cool. That's let's uh, let's go off Rob's information, then. Sounds good. Yeah, I um, am Because mine's a I... one, so I, well, I think Daniel's probably my one, right? Unless I'm poisoned or drunk. Yeah, I, my, my world at the moment is that the yes he got was the red herring on Brockwell... Daniel is just so. a minion, not sure which one at the moment. 
Like, because uh, yeah, Richie, Richie keeps telling me he's the saint, but I'm just waiting for him to back out of it. So I don't want to. Richie's like, also in a fortune teller. No, so it, I mean, okay. unless Rob has been poisoned somewhere. Yeah. That we can probably trust, and then maybe Lorinda is evil. Maybe Lorinda's the demon, but Lorinda's sticking well, with the same claim. Um, Lorinda was the other thing, um, but uh, he definitely isn't the same because. Okay. Like, like that's why I haven't. I, this is the first time I've told anyone who my other thing is because when Lorinda claims eight day one, I'm like, I really doubt that because <laughs> you're in my. Yeah, it's probably thing. irrelevant as well. Yeah. I, I don't think Lorinda's the same. I think Lorinda could be evil. Might be. I mean, Daniel could just be the demon. Like there is, there is a fringe world where Dan Daniel is just the demon, and that's my. Well, if, have you heard? I, I feel like Lorinda might be the soldier or the monk or something. I feel like Lorinda might be the reason for no deaths. Then where's the evil team, Will? Because that's the problem, right? Because then we don't have an evil team. Unless, unless Alex was evil. Daniel could be and then... Richie demon or something. I don't know. Richie, actually, Richie, like I said, Richie's, I think, in a fortune teller, no, so... Um, do, you, do, you, do you think it's a monk? Uh, I don't know. It feels like we're very informational. Like we've got an alleged fortune teller mm. who killed you, who's allegedly fortune teller ping. And I assume right. they've got a fortune teller ping on Lorinda. Either which way, I don't know if it's yes or no. Although, I don't know, soldier, monk, I, I've not heard... I actually don't know who well. the other half of the... I don't know who the other half of the fortune teller ping was. If it was Lorinda, then that might be a good shout. But yeah. at the same time, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know if they... I, I, I'm running out of people who can be fortune teller. They do not think we've killed an evil. Because there's you. No, neither do I. Mm. And Will's just really good. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Um, cool. We'll we'll talk about this in town. Well, thankfully, we're on five, so we have two executions. So. Yeah, yeah, we've got two goes. All right. Which is huge. It's huge. Sounds like the guy next door is having more than two goes at whacking the wall. Um... <laughs> hey, you must have found a virgin hey. wall. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Um, I mean, you know, we're just gonna let it's, it's just earning a living. Just let it happen. Um, <laughs> oh, you know, now's, now's your public talking time, and if anyone wants to nominate, go for it. So, we've got little information. Alleged double claim of saint, which is a lie because I'm a saint. Uh, what else have we got? Like, a big, big old lack of information. Who's the soldier? Um. Continue. Uh, wow. I think it, I think it's, it's it's late enough that it can come out now. I I'm the fortune teller. I now I have a I had a yes obviously on Alex and Brockwell. I've had another no, I've had a no on someone uh, and a dead player, and I've also now got a yes on Daniel. So I th think. Daniel is a good candidate for execution today, considering we're on five. Um, but is the other alive player with in the yes with Daniel? Is the other player in the yes with Daniel alive? Yes, but uh, is there any reason to assume that they're less likely to be the demon? Uh, I just hope they're not the demon. <laughs> oh wait, is it me? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the yes is on, on Daniel and Alex. Me. But... Okay. Yeah. I mean, I also would make quite a good red herring, but... but the thing I'm... is, I got uh, the, the other two, Alex and Brockwell, are both dead, so I'm guessing that the red herring was there. Or oh, we've got a Scarlet Woman and That's something else is going on. Well, it seems unlikely to me that... that... It seems unlikely to me that Daniel would be the Scarlet Woman claiming mm. Virgin. And... Yeah. yeah. So... Uh, Rob nominates Daniel. All right. Um, yeah, it's a, a yes on on you, Daniel, and I think it's unfortunate because now we're on five. It would have been a much more difficult thing to do to execute. 
if we didn't have uh, two executions. But from my point of view. Daniel? Uh, I am fine to die, but this is not the play of an imp. Well, takes three votes. Yeah. Starting. No. Not an imp, but a play of a pimp. <laughs> your little knickers <laughs> pee in front of that imp. Three votes is enough. Yeah, I suppose the play of an imp is to wear red and horns, right? <laughs> Absolutely. The pee is for party, and that's why party and imp go together. That's why you wear your party hat. Can I just ask, is the double claim of Saint out in the open? Do we know who these double claims are? I think it's resolved. I've Talk to I, both I of them. Resolved. I think it should be. Well, resolved. I've talked to both of them, and because right, right. first conversation up. day one, I got a hard claim of that from the first conversation I had. So, are we sold that it's a barren world, or could it be a double claim between? I think I think it is a barren world, and there's probably a drunk out there, or yeah, Alex. I, I could be or is oh, lying, be. and there is no drunk, but for nominations. Closing day in three. There's no panic. There's no panic. No, there's not. Yeah, the, All right. That, that would be the demon panic. Daniel, if only you had worn your fuzzy pink hat, you are executed. You die. And the game continues. Good night. RF. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that RF from Rob. <laughs> Oh, I love that so much. Um, oh, thanks for watching us at work, love the healer. I also often put stream on in the background at work because it's nice, but I work from home, so I don't have to deal with it being subtle about it, <laughs> which I suppose is an advantage. Um, alrighty, this, this is going to be quite interesting. I think, um, I don't know if Arif knows that Lorinda is the monk. I think Arif knows that there is a monk and might know enough to be able to sort that it's Lorinda. At any rate, it's a 50-50. I also, I don't know if, I mean, I'd assume Lorinda will protect Rob again because I think after the way that day went, I would, I would guess because I heard, I know that Lorinda and Rob spoke because Rob is confident that the double claim is resolved and Lorinda's the other one that's been claiming saint. So my guess is that Lorinda knows that Rob is a washerwoman confirmed fortune teller, will protect him. Um, which means that Arif is going to have to figure out which of Richie and Lorinda is the monk. But I think either way, if Arif kills Lorinda or Richie, it'll be fine. They'll get to a final three. Um, but Rob is going to get that game solving information. Yeah, it'll be, we'll make it quick. We'll make it fun. Um, <laughs> I think Arif knows he's a little bit screwed, but it'll still be a good time. And it'll be interesting to see if um, if Lorinda can kind of like speech, but Arif Alex, I think specifically as that dead minion could maybe try and divert some attention from Arif when they're building words, worlds. It, it is interesting. I really think that people think Daniel is the Baron, which is quite funny because he's just a poison virgin. But yeah, let's, um, let's see who Lorinda's protecting. So I mean, so yeah. The... Hey. Okay, absolute guessing game now. Um, will I go for them again? I'll go for Arif. You go for Arif. Yeah, go for Arif today. Thank you. You got it. Ooh, that is interesting. I think now this becomes a very fun game for Arif because Arif has to guess if Rob is going to be protected again or not. My hunch like i don't know i think if i were the demon here i'd be like well crap they're protecting the de like the fortune teller again i can't kill the fortune teller but he can kill the fortune teller this is nuts oh man let's find out who he kills well i'll give him a sec because it looks like he's talking right now as well okay let's let him plead his case. I imagine there's some back and forth going on between Rob and Arif right now, so we won't be able to catch him for a bit, but I think that's fine. I'm tempted, almost tempted to use the cards, because if this were a game in person, like, I could, you know, wake him up. He could still be talking. There we go. Sorry. Uh, Lorinda, Totally please. fine. I saw that you were talking. Lorinda? 
sense. Yes, please. You got it. Ah, yep. So that makes sense. Um, Rob stays alive. I almost wonder if there's a world where it's Aerith Poisoner Richie Demon. I think there is, but it's it's going to be tough to build. Like that basically is the viable world that evil has to push is where Richie is evil with Aerith and Richie specifically I think it's going to be tough like they have a world but I think goods play quite well and yeah let's uh let's see what happens fancy how does you here oh dear um now the only other thing that could have happened is Lorinda or Richie is a scarlet woman. Basically, I'll, I'll pick Lorinda and Richie, and it's going to be very interesting to see if, if, whether I'm, if I'm sober or not. But... Lorinda and Richie, what are you hoping to get on them? The simplest world is a no, because then I I can potentially trust all my information is Arif. Or if it's a yes, then there's much more complicated things going on, and then I would have a yes on all all the people, so it would be a 50-50 in final three for me, which is annoying. But I, I think you need to, I need to know. So Richie and Lorinda. Richie and Lorinda. I will give you a no. It's a no. Yeah, let's go with that. Great, so I'm drunk. <laughs> no, that's far too. That's far too simple. Uh, okay, thanks. Yeah, good luck. It is far too simple, but that's uh, sometimes how the game goes. So yeah, let's uh, let's see, let's see how this goes. I love deeply that Richie is now gonna be just continuing to claim saved. Um, yeah, but I, you know, there's options. I think it'll be really interesting to see how this goes. I do think that it's gonna win, but it'll still be fun to see it play out. And let's do that now. I'm assuming from you, Will. Sorry. Good morning. We have a dead Lorinda in our midst. The yeah, it makes back. sense. Yeah. Um, I was the monk. I protected Rob on the night that there was no death. Yeah. I'm also the washerwoman confirmed. Yeah. yeah, I'm not sure I'm confirming, Rob. Right. So you could build a world where Will and I are the evil team together. And then Will dies that early. Yeah. Hmm. And, and in that world, there has to be a soldier bluff that they haven't used, that they changed their mind when I spoke to Rob and said I was the monk. Because yeah. I, I had no or, idea Lorenzo was the monk. Um, or a spy who guessed. I didn't say monk to anybody. I gave everybody saint. You did. Yeah, yeah. You fiends. <laughs> yeah. well, from my so Richie, you're you're one. you're sticking to Sorry. Saint. Yes, and the soldier, right? The saint. Okay, so the thing we've got here is I got a no on Lorinda and Richie last night because I just wanted to double check whether anything else could have happened okay. to my information during the game. So if I'm healthy and sober, it's just Arif. Um. Uh, I know that's not true. So, what's happening here? So then, are you the the, the the only the only like the only world? And it's I think it's but it's I, I think I said Lorinda is like fifteen percent yesterday. It might be twenty twenty five percent today. Is Will was the spy and saw that I'm no. It still doesn't work because to have a spy. I can't be the drunk because we've got two other claimed outsiders. You would have had to star pass Rob to get Arif. Uh, but it's base one, the, right? So yeah, it's base, base one. Yeah. So we've got two I'm, claimed I'm outsiders. I'm a little worried that I'm the drunk. Rob's just the demon, but I'll pass over that for now. Yeah, well, there is there is a drunk how somewhere. Do we, oh, there, how do we explain? Drunk, sorry, the virgin stuff. Yeah. Yeah. How do we explain the virgin stuff then? One of us the, will be the drunk. I think one of myself or Daniel is the drunk. Uh, and also, um, in that world, mm -hmm. Rob would have to have very... I mean, Rob's very capable of doing this, but very quickly thought on his feet to sink a kill knowing that the monk was going to come out. Like, 
Is it I uh, the my simplest world I've actually got weirdly is Brockwell, you're potentially the drunk, but it might not have mattered and Daniel is like the Baron. And, there is that world too, yeah. Uh, and it's Daniel and Arif. Um because Daniel That's did, the simplest world I can build right zero. now with the people I trust, but the only thing that scares me is that I died last night, um, really, because I was quite sus and only Rob knew I was the monk. Well, I think there was a... Well, I guess that the person they killed the night before definitely wasn't the nut monk. And there's yeah, a... sure, yes, they know there's a monk, yeah. so they know it's me. It's kind yeah, of 50-50 sure. at that point, almost, I guess. Yeah. <sighs> if, if, if it was yeah. anyone else... I would be in the same boat as everyone else because I'm just like the only logical world is me, but I know it's not me, and I can't make a viable world for either of the other two. So the the the, um... the only other thing would be for me, for it to be Richie is Arif is like the poisoner, and Richie is the demon, and there is only one outside of it, Alex, and I've been poisoned. Uh, I was thinking in a similar vein. Game. If Richie was the poisoner and they're in the star past to, to him, but, you know, it's unlikely, sure. But there, there was definitely worlds where I, I could bluff Monk and sink a kill for sure. They exist. By the way, that doesn't work, right? Because you got a no last night on Richie, so that doesn't work. I yeah, would I plead so. if I'm going to make a Monk sinking bluff. I'm not going to do it when it would get the town down to four and keep it at five. That would be my argument for saying that that's where I wouldn't sink. But yeah, yeah. For 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 oh, Richie to be demon. I have to be the drunk or I'd be drunk or poisoned, which would to be poisoned. It'd be I'd be the only good alive. Um, I think Arif, that's world. You, you know what you guys need to do. Yeah. Well, Rob nominates Arif. All right, Rob has nominated Arif. I know lots been said, but if there's anything that you'd like to add before yeah. you vote, uh, it, this is Occam's razor for me. It's the simplest solution. And I, I'm so sorry because I wish, I really hoped we were on the same team, Arif, but my information pointed directly away from it. No, that's fair. Like, like I said before, if it was anyone else, I'd be in the same boat as you, and I'd say exactly that. I think either you've played a hell of a game, and you're the imp, or Richie is, and I don't know which one of you it is. So this, as this vote goes around, I'm gonna keep thinking because i have no idea it's one of you and whichever one of you it is you played an absolute blinder all right well it takes two votes to put Arif up for execution starting what's your, what's your actual claim Arif? uh empath my number hasn't changed all game five votes is enough Arif is about to die and I believe that can only be tied. So, Arif, you are executed. You die. It is, well, it's, tw it's 12.30 here. It's not 2.30, but, you know. Um, <laughs> either way, the game, and hopefully all of our bad jokes, is, um, is over. And I have to announce that this is not a barren game. Oh, no. oh, Rob no. is the fortune teller <laughs> who that got cute. lots of information. Uh, Rob was yeah. also Rob was confirmed by uh, by Will, the washwoman, who saw that either Rob or Lorinda were the fortune teller because Rob was the fortune teller. Lorinda is the monk who got a protection on Rob, which is why there was a night of no death. That was incredibly strong. Uh, let's let's see, let's see who else should we talk about. Let's uh, let's talk about Brockwell. Brockwell was your mayor. Uh, you murdered him, which was a bummer, but did also kind of make sense because Brockwell was Rob's red herring, and so when Rob got a yes on Alex and Brockwell, that was because Brockwell was the red herring. Brockwell also nominated. Daniel, who is not the Baron, just the Virgin, who was poisoned by Alex the Poisoner on the oh. first night of the game because he was sat between 
Alex the Poisoner, and Aerith the Demon, who of you just Aww. killed because Richie is the saint. <laughs> Richie does have wings, <laughs> and the good team has won. Well played. Yeah, nicely done, Rob. That was uh, good work. And unfortunate with mm-hmm. the poisoning there, Daniel, as well. But yeah, well played. It was the monk. The monk ruined everything. Yes. Because <laughs> <laughs> he gave us the two. I would have gone away with it if it wasn't for that monk. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Alternatively, Monk was in actual townsfolk this game, and it was great. <laughs> it was huge. Yeah. Oh yeah. Awesome. Oh. All right, should we do um, we'll another do. another speedy one? Speed. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Speed. Awesome. Well, one day do we want to stick with TB or too. switch to S and V for a speedy one? Because I'm happy with either. Oh, S and V, please. Speed S and V. Speed S and V. Awesome. I love Speed S and V. Speed S and V is where it's at. All right. Cool. Let's. Um. Yeah. I'll go set up a very speedy S and V with chat, and I'll be back. I just noticed that the names of the little channels change when you change the script. That's so fun. I had no idea. I've been using this app for like two years. Well done, brain. That's awesome. All right. What do we want? I am so partial to a no dashi in small S and V because it's so much more powerful. I love a little little no dashi game. So I think I might do that. The other option would be to go vig with an outsider bluff because they won't know if it's mutant. Um, yeah, I think let's. Uh, oh, I'm so I'm so torn now. Um, Yes, dashy. Great. Let's uh, let's small dashy it up. I love that. Yeah, I think like no dashy in a massive like a fifteen player game is just like, meh, but no dashy at this player count is great. Um, let's have uh, for speed. Gotta have a witch. Am I right? Like we oh we could do a seri. Either way is good. But I think let's just go witch because people are gonna have to nominate and then people will die and it'll be a fast game. <laughs> Let's, uh, we do get an outsider, so I think probably a mutant, um, because we love the mutant. And let's see what else. I am going to put in Savant anyways. We'll just have to be fast with coming up with information, but it's a small game. It'll be fine. Um, let's have a flower girl. Let's not have a town crier, because that's quite brutal at small player counts, I find. Um, we could have an oracle, because who doesn't love an oracle? Um, yeah, let's see what else. Let's have a snake charmer, just because, like, why the hell not? Um, and maybe, maybe a mathematician. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Let's, uh, let's see who gets what. Excellent. Ah, brilliant. <laughs> so, Robin Arif has now traded, who is a townsfolk and who is a demon. Richie's the snake charmer, which is absolutely fantastic. Lorinda is back to being an outsider. Let's get a seamstress, a juggler. And artist. Yeah, cool. Um, oh, yeah, that's so true. The snake charm is poisoned and the mathematician's poisoned, which is actually great. Um, so, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this. I think this will be good. Um, let's go send him to sleep. Although you made a good point about the Slayer. All just, right. Yeah. Let's play Speed S and V. Good night. So let's go tell Brockwell who the demon is and then find out who's getting cursed. Hello. Hey. Um, So now we get to, you know, have a blue hat because you're definitely good because good players are Definitely good. Blue hat, blue top. Definitely good, yeah? Yeah, obviously good. Um, (laughs) So your demon is Rob G. Cool. Uh, Who would you like... To curse. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking of going with someone that is obviously likely to nominate early, but then also. Hmm. Let's go for Richie. You got it. <laughs> Cheers. Cool. Cheers. Love that. I think that's a really good shout. Richie often nominates, even if it's just as a meme, um, and probably will nominate as the Snake Charmer, so that'll be kind of fun to see how that goes. Let's get Rob his bluffs. Heyo. Hello. How the turntables. Yeah. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, Brockwell is your minion. Okay. And the buffs are Seamstress. Okay. Juggler. And Artist. Okay. Awesome. Good Thank luck. Thank you. Okay, let's uh, get a pick from Richie. Not that it matters. Hello, hello. You are just having a day of S's, aren't you? I am. <laughs> I am. Uh, of course, I'm going to try and pick someone. Uh, I've got no, no odds. So who would enjoy... Uh, <laughs> I want to see Rob's face when he wakes up and he's not looking at me. You're picking Rob. I'm picking Rob. Okay. Get out. Out of the way. <laughs> ah, it's so good. This is, oh, this is fantastic. So he'll push for Rob to not be executed and that's going to be a fun thing to figure out. Um... Okay, so the only other things we need to do are tell Aerith. So what's really fun is that the real number is a one because the snake charmer picked the demon and did not become the demon. So I think we're just gonna give Aerith a zero for now. Um, yeah, to hide that and to make it look like Rob is just actually not the demon. Um, yes, if it was a Vortex, we would have had a witch cursed demon. Um, yeah, let's, let. okay, so I do wanna think about this because like a one is true which is super interesting, and a true one on on that actual interaction might really confuse things. Um, could also give a two for a Vortex. I'm worried about giving a two because I think if the Flower Girl or Savant or Oracle can figure out that it's not Vortex, that two is just going to point really heavily towards Rob. So I think I want to actually give either a one or a zero, but we can think about what to give Daniel. Um... I think we'll say for the true one that the um, the outsider neighbors um, or the minion minion does not neighbor two townsfolk because Brockwell's next to Lorinda um, and that leaves some worlds open. And then as a false one, Oh, I think as the false one, what we should say is nobody malfunctioned, like math zero, and then give a math zero. Because I think that's going to really throw things. Um, yeah, so we'll say um, no one malfunctioned last night. Um, that also could be really vortexy. And then we'll give Aerith a zero because that's going to like really, yeah, I'm happy with that. Hello. Hello! Triangle time! I'm, is it time to rejoice? <laughs> it Please is time to rejoice. time to rejoice! Yes. Rejoice! 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 For zero players have malfunctioned tonight. Wonderful. Wonderful! Oh, the town are gonna love that. <laughs> awesome. Rejoice! Thanks, All right. See ya! Rejoice! See ya! Alright, let's do some speed S and V. I think I sometimes see like my thing light up and I don't know if it's Good actually... morning! Speed S and V, go. Go with that yeah. speed. Uh, would anyone like a chat? I don't mind who. I'll, I'll tell you the truth, Richie. I'll, I'll tell you the actual truth. Baron World last game. I'm so sorry. It was good. I mean, I, I thought Baron was a good starting point, and then quickly. You had me convinced there was a Baron. Yeah. Good, 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 <laughs> Daniel was good. drunk. Yeah. Um, I think. And it was good that we were trying to find the other minion, but then between Brockwell and Daniel, I, I do it was yeah. And then it just oh, they, we just needed it that fortune, the fortune teller just needed not to be believed, and I'm like oh dear. Um, but it's what a great the most, most busted, damn it! Yeah, what a <laughs> oh, great well, sometimes I, it'd be great, like that. Sometimes yeah. it'd be like that. Well, I was a great, I was very happy. With my, my one thing I did with my poison pick was um, soil the virgin before the mayor got there. <laughs> That's what they get. <laughs> Right? Yeah, none of that, none of that I've been that, none of that business in this town. Uh, what are you all what are you up for sharing in this game, Alex? What are you up for sharing? Um, what am I up for sharing? I'm an oracle. Alright, nice. Cool. And uh, I don't have a number yet. Fair. 
that's fair. I am the most powerful role in the script. Behold and rejoice, for the math number is a zero, Alex. Oh, excellent. Hello. Hello, hello. Get you come for your toys. savant information? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. This also, is you keep maybe. getting savant on this on this stream. That's great, awesome. Um, right, I will let you know that um, either the minion does not neighbor to townsfolk, yeah. or no one malfunctioned last night, which is just a long way of saying math zero. Math zero, brilliant. Thank yeah. you. Cheers. I'm yeah. I'm pretty happy with that as information. Yes, rejoice. <laughs> we are all rejoicing in this town because it's speed uh, speed S and B, and it's been it's been a, a bit. So I think we're probably gonna give like one more minute and then uh, then end the day. Cheers. Thanks. Ah, bad timing on my part. I absolutely like the number of times I have got killed at night. I can count on one hand. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Well, thanks. Uh, James, can you stick around for a second? Oh, I live chat. Yeah, thanks. Hello. Uh, yeah, bluffing artist slash savant, but you know, artist who's going to be bluffing savant kind of thing. Perfect. That's very reasonable. Um, yeah. Do you are you asking your imaginary question today, or uh, I, can, I can either nod I yes or no. <laughs> I'm 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 bluffing. Uh, I think I'm going to be. Artist, bluffing artist who's bluffing savants are coming to you every day, but gonna use my question tomorrow. So awesome, yeah. cool. In that case, yeah. I will definitely pretend to give you information because it's either you're the demon uh, or um, yeah. yeah, I think you know the rest of that. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I know the rest of that. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. The other one's false. Great. Yay. Thanks. <laughs> awesome. Let's bring him back. Love a good speed game. <laughs> It's actually kind of fun. I noticed uh, recently that they, um, this has been on the app for ages, but in the bottom right, it says like day one since and then the time in your time zone. And I yeah. actually use that so much because when I'm storytelling in person, I usually look at my watch and I'll be like, okay, so like that was the time when the day started and then I'll kind of yeah. just play it. But it's so nice to just have the time and be able to stare at it. Definitely. Yeah. Peak, peak so you features. You know exactly how know. long the day's been going. Yeah. Down. Anyways, I've already taken up all of your nominating time. Um, <laughs> my bad. If anyone wants to say anything. <laughs> uh, Richie juggles that. Uh, Rockwell, Rob, Lorinda, and Alex are the snake charmer. <laughs> Rockwell, Rob, Lorinda, Alex. Got it. Rockwell? And then we'll just go around. Um, I'll juggle myself as the juggler. Alex is the oracle. Daniel is the savant. Rob as the artist and I'll throw in Will as the pit hag. Nice. You got it. <laughs> Alex. Can I gossip please that I don't like snakes? Thank you very much. Daniel. Uh, can I juggle myself as the juggler and Rich as all far outsiders? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Arif? Um, Arif would like to juggle uh, the, himself as the juggler. Uh, Daniel is the savant, Alex is the klutz, Will as the pit hag, and Will as the serenotes, please. You got it. Rob? Uh, I'd like to juggle uh, Alex, Lorinda, Brockwell, Will, and Richie all as the sage, please. Okay. Uh, you guys can also nominate if you like. Eric will nominate Rob. Rob G. I think Eric got in there yeah, first. Ha <laughs> ha! Um, uh, a repeat of the last game, but this time you're on the evil team. Rob? Makes sense. We're going to be on the same team one of these days, Arif. Um I hope it's today. But, but for your sake, I hope it isn't. Alright. It takes four votes. Starting now. I'm yeah. just scared of a juggler who's trying to find the sage. That that worried me. <laughs> Weirdly, I trust. Three votes is not enough. Weirdly. Any other nominations? Uh, 
Oh, I'm gonna Alex, please. Um, I've heard of a clockmaker too, and I don't trust that one. Alex? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what he means then. <laughs> um, can you please stop talking to Swiss players about their clockmaking? Because they don't make the best clocks, and the numbers are always wrong. Um, I'd like to live a bit more than just one night to please this game. <laughs> Alright. Takes four votes this time to put Alex up for execution, starting now. Richie, you tease. <laughs> what is that now? You know it. Last call for nominations. Luinda nominates Arif. Alrighty. Uh, Daniel doesn't trust him. Arif. Yeah. I, I mean, for good reason. I was the demon last game, um, but I'm not this time. Yeah. All right. Takes four. Starting now. Three is not enough. This is the final call for nominations. Uh, Rob nominates... Has Lorinda been nominated? I have not. Rob nominates Lorinda. Okay. So, uh, witch check, because we have quite a few. Um, that... Uh, I don't I know nothing about Lorinda. Lorinda? I'm the clockmaker with a two. We can kill me. All right. Takes four votes. Starting now. There is a vault of some of the scripts. Um, yeah. Uh, slightly, oh. Slightly, slightly concerned that like the evil team just isn't voting to try. Well, <laughs> five votes is a plenty. Lorinda's about to die, and if there are no well, I'm also the mutant. Richie Block Brockwell is a is a clock too. In five. I'm the mutant. So uh, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll nominate Richie then in that case. Okay, Rockwell has nominated Richie. Uh, it's an attempt to disprove Arif's world that Arif has been out there. Yeah, it's blue hat, blue top, scientifically good. Rich. Uh, just just to uh, lay it out, I had the good twin, Rockwell's the evil twin. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It takes uh, five to tie and six to kill Richie, starting now. Oh, it takes six. So we specifically tie this. Sure. Well, if oh, oh, I wasn't sure if you were. Three's gonna... not enough. I will close the day in five. <laughs> all right, Lorinda is executed and dies, and you all go to sleep. Oh, I always feel a little bad about like not procking a mutant there because it's like very clear that they want it and like I, I I get that and I usually like to give agency to players in situations like that but I do think that it is like it is an outsider and to just kind of kill them there when they're already on the block would just confirm them and that's not very outsidery so I hope Lorinda understands um, that I am not just being mean to them um, yeah so let's um Let's, I, yeah, I can go both ways with Phyla, Phyla Mutant, because it's like, it's still, it's still an outsider, <laughs> so, like, you made a choice, you made a choice as the philosopher to become that outsider, <laughs> um, so, yeah, let's, um, let's find out who Richie's charming, who Brock was picking, who Rob's killing. Just like, hey. Yeah. So, if I'm going to believe this clockmaker too, who got lumped on with a vote, so I trust them more than I do other players who we struggle to kill with votes. I, I so trust maybe trust this clockmaker too. No understanding of the vortex. And the only two players who went in for a clockmaker two chat were Arif and Alex. And if Alex is a demon, I'll let Alex be a demon for a few more days. Therefore, I'll pick Arif. And we'll swing back round to Alex in a day or two. Okay. If it comes to that. To pick Arif. Arif. Night. <laughs> <laughs> so he's clearly demon hunting, which is a delight, but I think also probably having some fun. Uh, great, let's get a witch pick. 
Hello. Hello. The number Ugh. of people who nominated yesterday. I will say, no one's going to think it's a witch game. <laughs> no, which is wonderful, and hopefully it muddies the waters if we've got a town cry. Um, my thinking here is Rob could attack anybody. Uh, Richie, I think, has played Witchy Cursey before, so I might not go there again. Um, I think I'm going to put it on Alex in the hopes that Alex might nominate again. Okay, sounds good. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Hello. Hello. Um, let's just go with Alex, please. Alex, you got it. Yeah, thank you. Awesome, thanks. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. Um, oh, but that's kind of fun because for Savant Info, we could say that the um, demon and the minion picked the same person. Um, Alternatively, we could say that the Serenovus targeted... Okay, so I think what we're going to do is for the false statement, we're going to say the Serenovus picked the same person both nights. And then for true statement... Okay, so we can't say that exactly one... Four red tokens on the go. Oh, that's... I actually don't mind that. Yeah. Yeah, if, I mean, because either way, that'll point really heavily towards Serenovus, which will look very confusing when there's not a Serenovus and might point towards Vortox. So, um, so four red reminder tokens. Cool. Because that's true, because we've got two Nodashi poisoned, a Witch Curse, and someone who's died. Yeah, great. Uh, let's give Arif. Let's give Arif a one this time, I think, because I think that'll be interesting with the savant. Um, we'll give Will a zero first, because that's true. Hey. Hello. You Ooh, get a zero. Zero. Not yeah. particularly surprising. All right. Cool. Thank you. Yep. Cool. Yeah, if we give a 1 to Aerith, that'll leave Vortox Worlds open, which I think is probably not a bad shout at this point. Hey. Rejoice! I'm still alive! Rejoice you are alive, but less rejoice because... 1. <gasps> Despair! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, someone in chat literally got to despair before you said it, which is impressive because oh, no. you came on a lag. <laughs> so, we'll see all right, it. all right, cool, wonderful, thank you. Cheers. All right, so that's it. Yeah, we've got the Serenovus picked the same person both nights in a row, or there are four red reminder tokens. Um, yeah, I think there's there's going to be. I don't mind pushing towards Vortox Nodashi. I think Lorinda's going to be pretty confirmed, so that rules out Vig anyways. And like realistically, I wouldn't put a Fangu in a game of this size. I might, but like, I probably wouldn't. So, yeah, I'm fine for them to just go full send on Vortox Nodashi. I think that'll be the most interesting. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's do it. Fly abroad, so I need to save money for that. So good yeah. morning. Decisions. Um, Congratulations to Alex for living through the first day of the game, uh, but not for making it to day two. Alex is dead. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Well, that's Definitely sad. Definitely fan good. I was, Absolutely uh, fan good. I was the fan flower good. girl. No one Everyone had voted. Oh, well. That's even more sad. Um, just to be clear, I was the mutant, um, so ignore clock making numbers you may have heard. Oh, okay. Cool. Interesting. Interesting. Do you, hear, do you want to hear something a bit spicy? I'd love the math number, Richie. I hear you're uh, the mathematician. I mean, I literally have not played mathematician to a soul, but okay. Oh, someone's lied to me then. Yeah, 100%. Um, I... I'm hoping you're a minion. I'm not. I'm actually the mathematician. <laughs> that was my way of, of trying to get you to claim mathematician to my face, but it didn't work. But, but we can come to some sort of arrangement. Oh, are you the are you the snake charmer? No, if you're you're not a minion, you could become no. a minion. 
Oh, you the pit hag? <laughs> what What would you like, good sir? What would you like? Oh, no, because then if you make me the evil twin, then I'll just get you as my twin, and that's a terrible one, and then... Make me the evil twin, um, you get the pick. If you want to make me into the good Serenovus, or the good witch, which, I'll just which, pick, I'll which? pick anyone but you. No, no, but which, which would you prefer? Either. Surprise me. I'll be uh, surprised either way, so surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> surprise you, I told, told you it's Oh, I really no. hope you are the pit hag now, Richie. <laughs> Hey. Ooh, my info. Welcome back. Um, today I will tell you that either the Serenovus picked the same player both nights. Yeah. Or there are four red reminder tokens on the Grim. Exactly. Thank you. Cheers. All right, I think I'll give basically just enough day for Rob to come bluff artist again, uh, and then we'll get started on nominations. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Good okay. Question then. Yeah. Thanks. That's that's really good to know. Um, Jams, could we could we yeah. chat? I'll, I'll dip. Bye. Thanks. So I am pretending to use my question today. Uh. It's probably going to be, after that conversation, something as simple as, like, divide the town into demons. Not demons, so... Cool. I'll decide that later, what the answer is. Thank you. Sounds good. Cheers. Hey. Cool. Alright, that's, um, yeah, about enough time for a speed... Speedy T... It's not Speed TB. It's Speed SMB. It's fine. Speed TB is faster to say. Let's do... Let's do knobs. I'm the math with a one. So y'all better check your info. Which, which night did you get a one? On? Last night I got a zero the night uh, the first night. So zero and one in that order. I think it's beneficial to get on that. Interesting. Well, this is speed S and B, so it is both talking time and nominating time. Um, oh, I'll come out with my info. So I was the juggler. Uh, I got a three. Um, for clarity, I juggle myself as the juggler, Alex as the oracle, Daniel Savant, Rob as artist, and Will as the pit hag. Will, I threw your name out there at random because I didn't speak to anyone else. So um, take that for what you will. Um, if anyone has any information that suggests one demon or another, that'd be really helpful. And it'd be helpful that if sounds, stayed in my head. That sounds legit, Rocco, right? Because, uh, sorry, not that sounds legit, but that number sounds legit based on what I've heard. Based on claims, so... I think it very much sounds it but again it, i just want to corroborate that with what end of what anyone else has so is there um, so i have a math you juggled yeah okay i have a math zero then a one so from my perspective it seems like your info is legit so maybe one of the others info is not my um my day two savant info is either the serenovus has picked the same player both nights there are exactly four red reminder tokens on the grid, which might help narrow is, down the demon. Is there a philosopher who's taken an ability? Is that the source of the one? I don't. I don't think Alex was <laughs> See Richie's hand. Yeah, Richie's I, I am hand. looking at Aww. Richie more than anyone. My nominations. <laughs> uh, Richard nominates Rob G. Okay. Okay. I, I think Rob G's good. Rob? Uh, I am definitely disposable here, so that's it's fine, but yeah, I am good. Takes three, starting now. Rob, Rob G is like a McDonald's. Because? Good, but disposable. <laughs> <laughs> Two votes is not enough. Any other noms? Do we have any other info? Sorry, Daniel, have you made your info public? Uh, no, sorry. So day one, it was either the minion does not neighbour two townsfolk or no one malfunctioned last night. So math zero. And then day two, it was the Serenovas picked the same player both nights or there are exactly four red reminder tokens on the grim. Cool. 
Can I nominate Richie, please? Yeah. Um, so, I'm trying to work out where this math one could be. So, I didn't get information on the first night, and I did last night. Um, so, I could be next to a Nodashi, and I decided that Richie would maybe be with a Nodashi instead of Rockwell. Out of randomness. Richie? It's funny you bring out the math. I believe it confirms I'm good. Um, I will explain it to you tomorrow, or if you want, you and someone else. Um, but yeah, it's 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 good. It's clever. I might not be that clever. I've got it wrong. But the fact that I think it's clever still proves I'm right. Still proves I'm good. It just proves I'm an idiot, but good. So I'm either an idiot and good, or just good. Either which way, I'm good. Well, three votes to decide how good you are. Stand I don't now. know how I feel about that. Daniel, your your oh, Rob, second please drop. statement. Please drop, Rob. Please. Oh. Three's enough. Richie on the block. Closing the day in ten seconds. Your second statement is one of either the witch or the Serenovus token, and the no. Richie nominate as well. Okay. My information would still... Uh, didn't Richie already nominate today? Did you? Oh, yes, you did. Thank you. You nominated yes. me. You do not nominate Will. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll nominate Will on Richie's behalf. No. <laughs> oh. Well. Oh, well. If you don't want to do this, then never mind. Oh, no, it's fine. I'm just joking. It's fine. Okay. Great. Three votes to tie, four votes to kill Will. What uh, a normal nomination. Uh, yeah. Artist information points explicitly at Will and a dead player. I think Will's evil. I don't know if Will's a demon. Okay. Starting now. I didn't vote on you, Richie, when That's... you offered a second chance, so... Come on. You're, be you're betraying me right now. Well, you, zero <laughs> votes is, is less of a betrayal, I suppose. Uh, but I'll close the day in three seconds. Oh, don't kill me. It's so sad. Richie is executed and dies. And the game continues. Good night. All right, quick, quick day. We no longer have to wake up a poisoned Richie, which saves some time. Uh, so let's just find out who's going to be witched. It's quite funny that we've not had a witch kill yet. Um, yeah, then we'll see who dies. Hello. Hello. Who is it going to be? Ooh, I'm now in a slight conundrum, just because I can, I can witch curse myself and then make a nomination and it will send it straight to final three. But then That's I think fine. the fact that, yeah, but I think that the fact that it's come out of so left field, I think it could be too obvious, if that makes sense. True, um, but does it matter? <laughs> Not trying to sway you, I just think like, you, no, you've but got then lots of No, also, also it would, it, having two evils alive in final three hmm. would help in terms of nomination, so. True. Um, I'm going to go with Oh no, sorry. That's ah. okay. Um oh, it's a tough one. It is. I'll I'll go with Dan. Uh, I'll it. go with Daniel. Alright, Daniel is cursed, thank you. Rob. Hey. Oh, it's it's a tough one. Um I think it's uh it's Daniel. You got it. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> Alright, um so that makes things faster because I don't have to come up with more savant info. Um so we're giving another I think we give another zero to Will, and then probably a zero to Aerith, just to raise those alarm bells. Um, but the one might seem weird, but yeah, well, zero to Will either way. You're alive. Alive. Somehow. You are alive, and you once again learn a zero. 
Oh dear. Okay. Cool. Thank yep. you. Cheers. Oh, I'm torn. Because I think, yeah, I think we have to give Arif a zero. Um, we could give him another one. It kind of goes either way. I think we can't give a two because realistically in a Vortox game, that two would be true. So it's only a one or a zero. Um, oh, good luck with the rest of your work day. Um, we'll be done soon and we'll send people over to TPI as soon as we are. Um, but I'm not worried because they usually start late. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's give, let's give a zero. I'm still alive! <gasps> Rejoice! Rejoice! <laughs> Rejoice! Rejoice! It's a zero. Rejoice. Oh, it's a zero! Rejoice! Rejoice! Wonderbar. Wonderbar! Cheers. Thanks, Jams. Yep. All right, let's do some day. I'll know to each other. That'd be hilarious. It's not quite good, good morning to everyone except for Daniel, who is dead. But fear not, folks, and rejoice! For the yes. math number is a zero again, which means Daniel was probably being affected by it. Well, it sound, from what Rich was saying, it sounds like it was something to do with Rich. <sighs> oh, yeah, maybe then. Uh, Rob, yeah, uh, Rob and Arif, can we have a quick chat? Sure. <laughs> So what... Hello. Uh, you've been honoured by the snake job. I can convert the neither of, neither of you two are demons. Oh, wonderful. Ooh. Or Rob's Rob's. A... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I've also have information to add to this. Uh, I'm the artist who asked a question yesterday. I asked whether Daniel or Arif was the demon. I got a no. So. Oh, I'm the no dashi. Well, you're the Nodashi. No, you could be no, Nodashi. No, that can't be the case. No, because Richie's, Richie's, Richie's clearing you. Yeah. Or, or Richie's your minion, but. No. Let's go with the first option. We're on the I, same I think, team, Rob. I think the same. Yeah, the same. <laughs> so, did uh, Lorinda give a Clockmaker 2 to hide Lorinda and Brockwell, or did Lorinda kill Will, the like bigger, to poison ooh, someone? Yeah, good point. It's a tricky one. What, but, what minion have we got? Because I don't I know. Heard of... It's either someone's Sarah locked and it's just like an out of play thing, so that's it. Like we we can't tell. Yeah. Or unlucky witch. It doesn't feel like pit hag. I'm feeling pretty lucky today. Thank, thanks. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> <Bye>. Great. <laughs> um... Well, that's a... <laughs> All right, see you. Because I think my information's legit, and that, if that is legit, then well, if we're gonna um, if we're gonna sleep on four, we're gonna find out if it's a vortex, aren't we? Kill a oh, yeah. dead player, right? Yeah. Well, there are four of you alive, even um... though two of them are off somewhere else. Um... Sleep, sleep. You can nominate, you can decide to sleep, you can nominate someone dead or alive or whatever you want, but now's the time. So I'll, I'll share with Tana, I've shared with a few people now. I'm, I'm an oracle with two zeros, so I think we've probably got two evils alive still. Or Brockwell's the Nodashi. That's my two worlds. I don't think it's Rockwell. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's one of the two. Blue hat, blue top. <laughs> it is science, to be fair. It is scientifically proven, yeah. Definitely but no, I'm I'm leaning away from Vortox, so I'm kind of tempted to do the Vortox check. To be fair, oh, well, um, I mean we might I mean, if we want to be boring, we can execute a body. But I'm not completely against a Vortox check because I think it's way more fun. Yeah, way more fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I will. Second half <laughs> nominations. I, I, I'm of the opinion that the Vortox if you're the Vortox, will will you actually, <laughs> actually, with like with the information I've got from my point of view, if I believe other people and my own it can't be a Vortox, I don't think. But... Yeah, I don't think it can, but I yeah, don't, I also don't want to risk it. Yeah. Well if we if it was Vortox, an Oracle wouldn't start with a zero. And it a math could, shouldn't start, it with, could a zero. start with a zero. It could, so Will could be if, if Will was the Vortox or evil, but um Or there Last was uh, evil player dead. For nomination. Arif will nominate Daniel. 
<laughs> How dare you? Coward. I, I am. I am a coward. Daniel, uh, don't take it personally. I just picked you random. In fact, I picked you because I like you the most. Everyone else, don't take that personally. No, and that's also not true. I like you all equally. Oh, I'm just digging my own grave. <laughs> Can we just kill out here? <laughs> okay, it takes two votes to put Daniel's dead body up for execution. Daniel, you can defend your corpse while the boat runs. Starting now. I mean, the, que the, surely the question is, <laughs> does the corpse still have the knickers and the hat on? Three is enough. Uh, definitely. <laughs> you wouldn't bury a corpse without their fuzzy pink hat. Um, I'll close the day in like two seconds unless there's any other... Nope. Great. Daniel's corpse is desecrated. Good night. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's uh, let's find out. Um, Brockwell's pick doesn't matter um, because his ability deactivates. Um, but I'll just visit for fun. Surprise. Hey, your ability doesn't Hello. work on uh, once there's three players, but that's fine. I'm here anyways. You can still pick someone just for fun. <laughs> Do you know what? Um, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna choose Will in the hopes that Rob attacks Will, so I have been the most inefficient witch <laughs> ever. Excellent, <laughs> love that for you. Cool, and now it's time it's time to make myself look pretty demony. Cool. Cheers. I believe. All right. Hey. Okay. Oh, well, I painted the world where it's Will or Brockwell. Uh, easiest thing. Uh, it's speed. Let's go with Arif. All right, you got Arif. it. Thank you. Yeah. Perfect. So Arif dies, and Will gets another zero, which is fun. <laughs> hey, Will, you and two evil players are alive. Hey. Hey. Zero. <laughs> Zero. Cool. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right, let's uh, let's do this. No dashy, and I would hate that. Oh. Good morning. I know what Richie's up there to. are three people alive, and Arif is not one of them. Never mind. I was dar. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Rob. <laughs> Try it. Oh. Brockwell, who do you think the demon is? Uh, one of the other two people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <but> which one? <laughs> it, is, I, well, it could be either of them, but based on my information, um, well, one of them is definitely not the pit hag. Huh? <laughs> it's uh, well, it, you know what also sucks. I told uh, Richie and Arif yesterday that. I'm the artist. I asked the question whether on day two, whether Daniel or Arif was the demon. I got a no. So my information does not help anyone right now. Um, which I know is inherently suspicious. So this sucks. I mean, I can tell you, you can trust your info because I got a math zero. <laughs> so... Oh no, wait, is that? Wait, yeah, yeah, I believe yeah, I, I can trust my info. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, I, I mean, there's other things that true. Oracle it. Zero, by the way. So, I, I, Will, there's I, no either... way. <laughs> no, I do. So I do. It's, it's Will, just the demon. So either either Brockwell is the Nodashi, or I'm alive with two evil players in my world. Uh, I'm a snake charmer. I've I've snake charmed both uh, Arif and Rob. See, this is why I don't trust Rob. Arif, the Arif, only Arif, thing. The, the, the thing is, Rob. is that with with the world I've got, I don't think. You must. I think Richie, you must be Nodashi poisoned by either Will or Brockwell. So I don't think. <laughs> you... Nice. Well, I'm fine to go with so it was Brockwell. That works in my world as well. It's not so. me. It's not me. <laughs> of course it does, Will. <laughs> Alex, you trusted me like two minutes ago. <laughs> I only did that so because I was hoping either you or Brockwell would die because I trust oh, Rob. Wow. <laughs> I don't know which one of you it is. It wow. might even be Rob. Nominations yeah, but... are open. Yeah, because because we like because of the savant information, we're pretty convinced it's no dashi. I don't think there's 
anything clearing anyone. Weirdly, like, Brockwell read so much like his juggler, but is that just a lucky... I, I am the juggler. I, I know I'm taking the piss, but my language. Um, yeah. Uh... What was the artist's question? I think I missed that. Uh, is Daniel or Arif the demon? And I got a no. That's why I voted on Richie that day, because Richie was a demon candidate. Um... Well, this is the second call for nominations. Uh, it does feel like someone's Rob, Rob nominates Will. All right, Rob's nominated Will. It feels like a toss up, a lot, a, a big toss up to me. Like my information just doesn't um, uh, doesn't help narrowing worlds down. Um, but Brockwell, I think. I don't know whether Brockwell read, uh, and also I think the savant information might point to Brockwell being a minion. Actually, after like thinking about it, so Will is my demon, bigger demon candidate. Well, um, yeah, I don't, I don't really have a defense other than I think my information is poisoned. Um, I don't think it's true, but I'm going to nominate the person who I think is the demon in, in both cases. Um, but yeah, it's not me. All right. Takes two votes to put Will up for execution. Starting now. Rob, isn't that the false statement, though? Which, I, I'm, I, I've. One is. Wait, wait, which, Will which is day was that? That there was something about a minion. Was that the first day? Minion does not neighbor two towns folk, or nobody malfunctioned last night. But from my perspective, it must be nobody malfunctioned. So minion does nominate two townsfolk. <laughs> Unless, if, if Rob is the no dashi and Arif just got a correct number on night one. Maybe. So Rob's a no dashi and Brockwell has to be the other minion. Uh, I, it's a 50-50 for me. I, I'm going I'm to nominate uh, Rob. I'm going to nominate Rob. Alright, Will has nominated Rob. Anything you want to add? Um... No, just split second gut instinct on that world, Rob Demon, Brockwell, Minion. I think the artist question, I don't remember when it was asked, but um, so I just, something not right. Rob? Well, yeah, I asked the question day two after talking to you, Will, and you pointing out that it was unlikely to be a Vortox game. So. I tried to just do a divide the living players. Um, I think we've lost the game because does Will does Will didn't get enough votes, so right. it's it's over. And Brockwell's not going to nominate him. So well, it takes two votes this time to put Rob up for execution. Starting now. I think it's. I think it might have been Brockwell to be a. Well, the Richie dropping there is interesting. Yeah, I, I was originally going to nominate Rockwell. For as votes the last second is action. enough. Rob is about to die. Rockwell, would you like to nominate yourself? Can that be beaten? Um, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, it, it can be beaten if you vote on yourself. I'm not, I'm not going to vote. Yeah, I'll nominate, nominate myself. Go for it. Go for <laughs> it. I right. want to risk it. I want to risk Sounds it. Sounds good. Brockwell has not voted <laughs> Brockwell. Blue hat. Anything else you want to say? Blue top. Definitely good. Red right. hot. <laughs> <laughs> Four to tie, five to die. Uh, it will start when it reaches Aerith because everyone else used their dead vote. I mean, part of me just wants to vote to try and call you double bluff in case you actually are the demon, but... Yeah, it's funny. Yeah. Stupid, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is not enough. With that, Rob G is executed and dies. And the game is over.
because you have just killed the Nodashi, who is yeah. incidentally wearing a red shirt. Um, however, Brockwell is wearing a blue shirt and a blue hat, but is the witch who never um, ah! never killed anyone. <laughs> Didn't do anything. Because <laughs> on the first day, uh, Brockwell picked Richie, the snake charmer, who didn't want to um, nominate because Richie likes being the snake charmer. Tracks. Uh, then picked, uh, in order, Alex, who was also picked by Rob. Then Daniel, who was also picked by Rob. And then <laughs> Will, who was not also picked by Rob, but was a sober and healthy oracle getting zeros for the entire game. Those were all legit, as much as it was easy to make you believe that you were poisoned. Yep, it was just true. Uh, Lorinda was your mutant who I was sorely tempted to oblige and execute when they outed mutant. However, uh, it is a one outsider game and that would have been a little bit too strong, I think, and mutant is an outsider. Um, but still pretty confirmed um, based on the way other things went. Um, and that brings us to Arif, who is your mathematician, who got an incorrect zero on the first night of the game because Richie the snake charmer <sighs> snake charmed Rob the demon, <laughs> therefore <laughs> malfunctioning due to the Nodashi ability, which is why Daniel the savant learned that the minion did <laughs> not neighbor two townsfolk, which was true because Brockwell the witch was next to Lorinda the mutant, and math zero was false because the real math number should have been a one. So that was your game of Speed SNV. Hope you all had fun. Let's um, say hi and shoot Thank everyone over to uh, TPI in time for their game. Cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Go watch TPI, everyone. folks. Hello. Bye, chat. Oh, that was absolutely loads of fun. That was a really, really close game and fantastic. Um, well played to everybody. Um, yeah, so TPI has got games on now. I will raid you all right on over there. Most importantly, in just under four hours, we're revealing a new character. Let's go. Um, this is a very fun character. I believe there's also an NRB game to go along with it, but our reveal will be happening in just a little bit. So I will see you guys over there for the reveal, not playing in any games, just going to pop on and talk about the character because it'll be a lot of fun. I did not write a 12 page guide for this one. Hopefully it's a little bit easier for you all to run. Uh, but yeah, we will see you all next week um, or later on TPI. And thank you all so much for joining. Um, yeah, let's um, shoot you all to our uh, end of game screen while we get over there on a raid. Night, folks. <laughs>